Hello everyone. It's James again. And today. I wanted to talk about something very important. And that is. If you want to keep narcissist out of your life. Or at least to the best of your ability. Because. Truth be told. There are narcissists in every walk of life. And you will meet them everywhere you go. Just as you will meet good people. But the main thing is how you handle it when you encounter such evil demons. And as I and many others have discussed. The best way to keep free from these monsters is prevention. Prevention is so so important. If you can smell the sulfur on these evil demons a mile away. You're going to save yourself a lot of pain. And time. So what is one of the key things you can do to help prevent these monsters from entering your life? And for you to see who and what they are before they are able to enter. Well. This has a lot more to do with you. Than it has to do with them. And what I'm talking about is. Your ability to keep how you feel about flattery in check. Now we all love compliments. It's great to hear we've done a good job. Especially when we've done a good job. It's great to get a pat on the back when we've accomplished something important and meaningful in our lives. But, you need to be careful of the emotions and feelings you have towards those giving the compliments to you. Because not all people giving compliments to you are sincere. I know. That's an awful thought. Someone telling you all kinds of great things about yourself and they don't even mean it. You see. These compliments are an important tool in the narcissist's grab bag. During the idealization phase of the relationship. No matter it be just a friend. Someone you're thinking about dating. A new co-worker. Or a new neighbor. Because oftentimes. These people that are toxic. Will come at us with. One compliment after another. And bombard our senses. So all of the chemicals start shooting off in our head. That make us high. High about ourselves. I mean we are hearing about how awesome we are. Over and over and over again. These people seek us out for our expertise on things. And it makes us feel so so important. All of this is done on purpose by the narcissist. Because they know at some point they are going to start abusing us. And they know from experience. If they start off with compliments first. Once the abuse hits. We will be too busy trying to figure out what's going on and trying to figure out what we might be doing wrong. Or are we seeing things wrong? Or are we being too sensitive? Or where did all of the flattery go? Or did it even exist in the first place? We are just spinning round and round. And the last thing we are thinking about is getting away from this demon that is now downgrading us. And making cruel jokes towards us. I know. It's truly sick what these monsters do. But we need to stay one step ahead of them. And the best way to do this is. To understand flattery. And what flattery does to the human emotions. What it does to the human brain. And how the brain releases drug like chemicals that make us feel like we are on cloud nine. And when it's released over and over and over. We get used to it and addicted in a sense. So when it's taken away. We are left confused and trying to understand where their drug went. Now this isn't to say we shouldn't enjoy the pleasure of being flattered. Because you sure should. Heck I have videos here and more to come where I speak on motivational topics. And the entire goal is to get you out there in life. To be the best you. You can be. Because we are all unique and special. We all have gifts to share with the world. And sometimes we just need a little nudge to get out there and try. And having someone tell you these things about yourself. Can and does help. I know it helps me. But at the same time. We need to learn to start saying these things to ourselves. And taking things for what they are when other people say them to us. Hey. Maybe they were being sincere. And hey. Maybe they aren't. We can't control that about them. What we can control is how we feel. And how we react. And the best thing to do. 
if you know that you really take flattery to heart. And it really overwhelms you about how you feel about someone. Do yourself a favor. And put a sticky note in your mind's eye. To remind you any time someone hits you with flattery. To be happy. To smile. To accept it as true. But check it at the same time. And check yourself. Check yourself so you don't get so carried away with your emotions and feelings. Think to yourself. Wow. That was nice. But think and say to yourself. Just because they complimented me. Doesn't affect how I see them as a person. Then say it to yourself again. Just because they complimented me. Doesn't affect how I see them as a person. And repeat and repeat as many times as you need to. And keep that sticky note in your minds. I. So you can see clearly. Because this is truly the key. Separating. The compliment you received. From the person that's giving the compliment. And trust me this is a skill the narcissist doesn't want you to learn. Trust me on this. Because this is a big tool in the narcissist's grab bag. They used to get a hold of you the victim. And others around them. So they are trusted. Because we are taught that someone's outward appearance equals who they are. And that's not true. Someone may be homeless. But they might have a college education. You don't know. Well someone telling you how wonderful you are. Might have good motives. Such as they really mean it. Or they might have bad motives. Such as they are buttering you up. So they can ask you for something. Or they are setting you up for the big narcissist do-do test. Either way. If you enjoy the compliment for what it is. And it's a compliment for the moment. A compliment that doesn't make or break your day. And if you keep it all in perspective. And keep your emotions about it in check. So you can see clearly. And that's so important. You need to have your they live. Glasses on at all times. So when they hit you with a cruel joke. Or are mean to you for literally no reason at all. Don't sit there and try to find an excuse for them. And don't let the compliments they gave you put you in this doped up fog. To where you can't see straight. Because that's truly what it is. It's a doped up fog. Meaning they get you as high as a kite. With all the compliments in the world. Then they hit you with the do-do test. And you are too doped up. To react in a correct manner emotionally. This is why it's so important to keep your emotions in check. While still feeling good about yourself. And your accomplishments. Along without being afraid to enjoy how you feel when someone says nice words to you. You just need to separate those words. From the person saying them. So if this person turns out to be a demon and is now. Saying hurtful words. You are now immune to the flattery. You can see clearly. This person probably never meant what they said. And hey who cares at this point. It's not worth to even find out. It's time to move on. And move forward. And this will shock the narcissist. It will shock them so much they will move on to someone else that takes their bait. Because that isn't you anymore. Because you've learned. You've grown. And you're smarter than that. Because like I always say. Knowledge and wisdom is power. The more we know. The more we can lead happy and healthy lives. Until next time. Bye for now. And be good to yourself.